What is up you beautiful people and welcome back. This bike which you are looking right here can give you up to 60 to 80 kilometers per full charge. I am serious. This battery pack right here gives you 80 kilometers per charge. To know about this bike, let's begin this video. Okay, so as the name suggests, the name is Zumo, which means speed. Zumo bikes gives you a lot of mileage, which means it can go up to 60 to 80 kilometers in pedal assist mode. I am literally serious, this bike can go pretty quick, like it can give you up to 25 miles per hour. Like 25 miles, if you convert it into km, it's gonna be close to 35-40 kilometers per hour. That's like a pretty good speed for a decent bike. Once you're looking like this, just by looking at this, you can't say that this is an electric bike. Like, where the goddamn is a motor? There is no motor for the rear wheel. Where is it? Motor is to the front wheel. Here, which you can see right here, that's a 500 watt hub motor. That hub motor is so powerful. If you guys have seen in my previous video with the fat tire bike, that monster bike, that bike was also having a 500 watt hub motor and could go up to 60 kilometers per hour. That speed was epic. Check out that video, the link will be here, right there. Just imagine that same motor to this bike. This is slim. This is like lightweight. It's aluminium body. So think how speed can it go. And moreover speed, it can give you a lot of mileage. Because there is no extra weight on the bike. As it was for the previous bike, it has fat tires. But there is no fat tires, it's a slim and trim tires. These tires can go in snow, dirt, water and you know can glide easily. You can just walk if there is a water pond or something and go on it. It won't slip. These tires are that good. I'm serious. Now, as you saw, the motor was in the front. Here, right here, this is a battery pack. Like, what am I joking? No, that's true. See, this is a frame. Frame itself is having a battery pack. But you may say like, Rafiq, how should I charge it? Then you can just detach, detach it. You can just pull it out, take it to your room, take it to your bedroom, charge it up, bring it back and put it back. That's true. You can take it to your classrooms, your bedroom, your kitchen, anywhere. Just pull out the battery, take it and charge it. Now, you may be wondering, okay, you kept a motor, you kept a battery pack, but what about the safety, Rafik? This bike gives you 80 kilometers, but what about the safety? This bike is anti theft It's completely locked. Without this key right here, let me show you, you will be amazed. This, my friend, the small RFID tag. This tag is a key to this bike. Not these keys. These are the locks, which you know, external locks. This little guy is a key to this whole bike. I am legit serious, guys. See, you don't need any external key or, you know, you may be wondering, like, what if someone just lock picks the key and take the bike? No one can take it because you have this key. This is a RFID tag. Once you place it here, then only the bike is going to start. That's epic. Another cool feature, as you're seeing right now, the bike is still. Now, what do you say, like Rafiq, if someone can lift it and take it or just push it and take it? But no, they can't. See, this can't go back. See, it's locked. You can't push it behind. Okay, it, it, it's anti-locked. Okay, and if you're trying to take it further, like forward, the see, I'm, I'm just literally pushing it, but the motor is resisting it. So, until I turn it on, the motor will kind of lock the vehicle. Okay, and this bike has inbuilt GPS. So, wherever the bike goes in the goddamn world, you can track it to your phone. Yes, it has an inbuilt app. I'll show all of these with a close up. Okay, so you can see like you can track this bike anywhere the bike goes. Even if you give it a friend or you know, some random street where you just parked it over there, you forgot to lock it, but someone took it away. But thank to the GPS because this bike is GPS enabled and wherever the bike is you can just track it and go grab it <laughs> that is true this bike is you know a latest hit among the delivery guys the people who deliver food the people who do local couriers and everything why amazing thing this has a back seat let me show you this seat you can just place that you know the courier box the hot box which you say where the food is placed which stays hot for a certain duration of time that hot box you can place literally right here and you can strap it to the bike next thing you don't need to go over the bike no you can just sit like this and sit like this and like why 
you why, why i'm like rafiq i want to do no because over the day when you're doing like 8 to 6 hours of you know food delivery or the package delivery your muscles and the body gets tired and your tushi needs rest i mean the bum <laughs> that needs rest so this seat is comfort you can see i'm just pressing it it's going deep in so it means how much ever time i just sit on this and drive my back is not going to hurt <laughs> that is true because i have experienced it i have rode it for like an hour or so and didn't feel that much of a pain in my ass <laughs> if i have to say that so this is a thing and this thing is an advantage because you know you don't have to lift your leg up even if you're a kid or to a old person anyone can ride it very easily because they don't need to lift their leg up or they don't need to balance it much if they're falling it you know if you're falling suppose if it is like this and you're falling you can just place your legs forward there is no rod or something in between you that will you know stop you or resist you from you know saving yourself basically so now you can save yourself very easily it's like that simple now enough of the theory a lot of talking wow now let me show you the demo how the vehicle starts how the vehicle glides and how it just flows amazing feature before i go before i you know should i should show you the best feature the handlebar you know the handlebar is like this tilted you may be wondering why see if you guys can see it is tilted like this in the form of a c not a complete but particular c why you know what happens is if you are in a straight drive your hands are like this and your whole body leans on your hands so over a time like once you are delivering a lot like you are doing 5 to 6 hours every day or 8 hours every day your body and the shoulders get strained up you know the strain start building on it your hands start paining this method my friends like this method it gives you like, like a support see i'm not bending like this i'm just sitting like this comfortably and here is the throttle i'm just throttling it and going it so i'm not leaning over or i'm not straightening straight and this comfort like this is a neutral position i can say you guys see in a neutral position and the handlebar sideways the, the best part you know the handlebar is being side see my habit of getting you know over the thing the best part of handlebar is being side you know is like you can drive it comfort you don't need to bend forward or you don't need to you know lay the weight over the handlebar or the front wheel if you say now oh wow Let's show you the demo how this vehicle starts what happens if i you know take out the battery how to take out the battery how to start the vehicle how is the experience riding it around this beautiful park right here behind me this is a lincoln park which i am recording the video right now i'll just show you the park around on the bike so let's go so to turn this bike on if you guys see here we have m if i press this button i get a timer god damn what is a timer So to turn the bike on here which you guys can see the RFID tag I have this key and just place it on this and the bike is on see the bike is on okay now to turn it off simple press the button just pull it back it's off now you may say what will happen if i just leave it like this the bike is not going to be on or anything is not going to work okay these buttons are not going to work so i just bring this tag place it here and the bike is on got it now here if you see it's one let me take it to zero yeah now this is zero which means the pedal assistance and the acceleration the acceleration is here right to this side okay this is the acceleration accelerometer or the throttle whatever you call in your language so this if i do one it's one mode it's eco mode in two it's city mode when you're riding it in the city or the bike you know in new york city you especially need this if you're going in three it's two mode in 4 it's power mode in 5 god damn it that's a boost mode in 5 it's boost mode so in boost mode this bike you know goes like a smooth like a butter on a knife so <laughs> like a knife on a butter it glides my friend like this goes very fast 25 miles per hour you may think it's slow but it's really speed it's and the controlling it's very easy like you can control it with your one hand also in 25 miles per hour but it's up to your risk please don't do that <laughs> i'm just saying you that okay so like that so you saw the modes and everything in this bike this is the key okay the throttle was this comes with a bell ding 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 and this my friends are the shimano gears shimano hunters gears where we have the gear system here okay you can change the gears and everything the best part is these brakes are hydraulic brakes 
the hydraulic brakes okay mineral oil these brakes my friend are hydraulic brakes so these hydraulic brakes are literally you know you have to uh, like a racing bike if you remember if you have to add some oil to the brakes so that you know the brakes work fine this brake needs oil <laughs> that is true this brake require oil to go you know the delivery person if he's going zoom like a speed and something comes in middle just the hydraulic brake are going to help him out so the hydraulic brakes are a must and good and a good add on to this bike wonderful now the once you come over here you can see bike is alarmed warning thieves gps and you will be prosecuted which means you will be arrested if you take this bike this bike is secured like this bike is completely secured if someone steals it you they can be arrested very easily because gps my friend <laughs> now here you see this battery is showing a blue light blue blue means completely it's turned on you know like it's completely charged and on now if i press this button it's green see green red now battery is off basically okay you saw green and red lights the battery is off if i press the button now if i press the button again the battery turns on so the red indicates there is no battery mean there is no power or no is no juice to ride this badass now if you say green that there is up to half percent like 50% of the battery is full and the 50% is empty you have to recharge it as soon as you can that's the meaning and when it's blue you know it it's fully on juice so you can just ride it up very easily so you saw here we have you know the charging port it's a cool charging port if you guys can see it's not not like a normal regular bike it's like a three port in pin it's three port pin which you know glides like a you know car has a big jack pin like that it is like this one to remove the battery one second let me put it back back and smooth what a pull yeah here is the key i have the key with me so let me open it and show you guys so here is the key just put it in and lock it you saw it pop forward so it pop forward right so just push it back and we got it this is a battery you just saw i just pulled out the battery pack this is a battery pack my friend it's aluminum it's like in a metal form even if it falls nothing can happen because you know it's completely covered in metal the, the outer part of the body is metal if you guys can hear the sound okay it's metal body completely so yeah see you can just take the battery and go with you if you look inside inside it looks like this the plugs okay this is a connector pin okay that goes to it and this is lock the brass lock is there up so to place it back just place it and press it that's it it's lock i don't need the key to you know lock it again if i just place it on it and press it it's lock it's beautiful now let's go on a spin and show you guys how the bike works so as we saw to turn on the bike I just press the button Oh, we need to turn on the battery. Gaj, see, it's blue. It's blue, which means the battery is full. Turn it on. Thirty seconds we have to place the key to turn the bike on. So place the key, and it's on. Now let's go in one. Let me show you how it feels in one. You can see the Lincoln Park. It is a beautiful place. Like everyone is enjoying, like relaxing. Kids are playing there. It's good. It's a pleasant day. All right. So in one. Let's drive. In one, this is pushing. Like I'm going only on the throttle mode, and this is giving me good speed. But the pedal assistance is low. Like you can't get a pedal assistance with this. Now let's go for two. Two pedal assistance is better. Okay, you're getting a bit of pedal assistance. Like you can go it glide with it easily. If you say the accelerometer is going pretty fine see I'm going 18 19 17 miles right now so let's go up on the road you know let's go this side towards the lake we are high in boost mode right now so let's go see in boost mode we are reaching beautiful speed guys like this bike is going so good this is going easily without any pedal but if you want to pedal you can pedal see you can pedal and you can go you can go up to 18 miles per hour see you're going the handle turning everything is so smooth see i just came off up 
see it was a smooth handling also you just saw it had so smooth handling the curves it just climbed up behind me if you guys can see the zigzag pattern the handle was so smooth even if the speed the pedal assistance you saw it is powerful like even if i don't give it a throttle also the pedal assistance works real fine like it works really good so now this was about the bike you know this is a beautiful bike as you guys just saw and i am right now riding it around the lincoln park in jersey city this is one of a beautiful park if you guys can see behind me a small pond over here so i decided to shoot here so yeah this is a beautiful bike for all the delivery people whoever is whoever wants to deliver or who want to work for like 6 to 8 hours a day on this bike they can do it very easily and pretty good coming up for the pricing it's a bit costly it's around 1200 to 1500 dollars yeah if you convert it into yanr it's going to be in on like 1 lakh or more but you get what you pay for because this bike is like has a lot of features has a lot of things yeah i know the price is a bit disappointing but there is a special news the zumo website if you go onto the zumo website you have monthly subscriptions or you know you have monthly subscriptions based on the miles you use or based on you know the how far you want or the unlimited distance you want based on that you have monthly subscriptions starting just from 25 dollars oh my god that's crazy so in 25 dollars you can get one of these to yourself one of these bike to yourself and ride it for a whole month no one's going to ask you a question after a month if you want to have it just renew the subscription or just go to the bike it's that simple this bike at this place it's so good it was amazing riding this bike till now and this is one of my friends bike yeah he bought he purchased it for around like 1200 dollars so if if you go for retail if you go for a newer bike uh, from the direct from the website it's going to cost you around 3000 dollars that's a lot of money so you guys if you want to experience this just have it rented you know you can take up a monthly subscription and enjoy it thank you so much for watching this video till now i know it has been a long video but to describe and to give a justice to this bike it has to be this long thank you for watching again i'll see you guys in the next video with an amazing review of on the bike or a store whatever it is find out in the next video see you